Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 3. Today we're going to be doing a pretty simple build. I'm going to be showing you a way to set it up so you can automatically compress cobblestone. So you can get your double, triple, quadruple compressed, so on and so forth. This will work with some other of the compressed, uh, like dust and such as well, but primarily cobblestone uh, for some of the other items that you may want to build in the game. So, um, right off the bat today, we're going to be using, uh, as our power source, an Extreme Reactor from the Extreme Reactors mod, and we're also going to be using some wireless power setup using the Flux Networks. Um, so if you're not familiar with how to do an Extreme Reactor or how to do wireless power, I do have a tutorial for both of those on my channel as well. Uh, be sure to check those out. So right off the bat, we are going to need some cobblestone generators. Okay, uh, so to make cobblestone generators, at least at the tier one level, is six pieces of cobblestone, a water bucket, lava bucket, and a piece of glass. Now the water bucket and the lava bucket can be clay, it is a one-time use, uh, but you don't have to use an iron bucket if you don't have a lot of iron. Next we're going to need some compressors. We're going to make several of these. Uh, compressors are four crafting tables, four iron ingots, and a block of iron in the center. Next, we're gonna need some transfer pipes. Transfer pipes are six stone slabs, two pieces of glass, and a piece of redstone. We need some transfer nodes, which are two pieces of stone, a chest, two redstone, and one of the transfer pipes that we've already made. And those are all the basic components other than, again, a power source. So, we're gonna go over here and pick up our components. And again, I've got a flux point here just to set up our wireless power. So, right off the bat, we're gonna put down a compressor. An auto compressor takes items and compresses them together. This will work with cobblestone, pressing it down. We need to provide power to it. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a flux point to my network. That now has power. Right. We're going to set up some more. Right. There's another one there, as you can see. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a transfer node on top. And we're going to put oop, a transfer pipe. Then we're going to put another compressor on top of that. So this first one goes up into the second one. Now the second one, transfer node, transfer pipe, and another compressor. So number one into number two, number two into number three, and then number three into number four. And then we're gonna take number four and feed it back into number one. So now we've made a circuit. They're gonna go starting here, moving around. Now. All of these are going to need power. We've already got power to that first one. So we're going to select flex points on each one of these. Now, again, you don't have to use wireless power. You can use a hardline power source as well, directly from your generator. I'm just using wireless because it's a little bit easier for the build here. So now we have our compressors working in a circle, or a square, whatever you want to call it. Now we need to get them going. So I'm going to put down three of these cobblestone generators and then we're going to feed all of these using transfer nodes and transfer pipes directly in to the first of our compressors. Now what this means is the cobblestone generator automatically makes cobblestone and will feed it into that first compressor. If you click on there you'll see that it's feeding in. Now once it hits 9 it then compresses that into a piece of compressed cobblestone. As you can see, that is building up. Now, once we get nine of those, it's then going to compress that into a double compressed. We'll give it a second here to do that step. So eight. One more. And number nine. Now, over here, you'll see we have a double compressed. Now, once it compresses nine of these, It'll then make compress that into a triple compressed, which feeds it down here, which will do a com quadruple compressed, and it'll feed it back into the original, where it will then do quintuple and 
keep going around and around. It'll just keep compressing those. Now you don't have to do it in a square. You could do it, you know, square flat on the ground. They don't have to go up in the air. I just did this. This is how I like to set mine up because it takes up a little bit less space. Um, there's also different designs to have more cobblestone generators going into the first one uh, by putting some underneath and such as well. That works perfectly fine. The more cobblestone you have going in, the quicker it'll go. And you can, instead of doing four, you can increase it to six or eight if you want to have one for each of the different compressed. But four will do it perfectly fine. And as it compresses into the double, and then we get a triple, and then the quadruple will be down here. Then at this point, you'll see quadruple will start building up, and it'll be doing single and quadruple all in one. So a, a compressor can do more than just one. It'll just continue the process for you. Also, if you use a higher tier of cobblestone generator, the higher tiers spit out cobblestone faster. That will just increase the speed of this process overall. And by doing that, it's just going to automatically keep going as long as there's a power source. And you just have nothing you have to do except come back and gather up the compressed of the appropriate level that you need. If you need it to stop at a certain level, maybe you only need triples, you can just break this pipe and it'll stop. I'm sorry, break this pipe. It'll stop with your triples sitting here and it won't go in here and start doing quadruples. So you can kind of control as needed just by breaking a pipe or so on. And that is all you need to do to set up auto compressing cobblestone. And it will go on pretty much forever. Or unless, of course, one of these things fills up. <laughs> that can happen as well. So other than that, that's it. So a pretty simple build, not a lot to it today, uh, but it's a great way of just letting that build up. Um, and it kind of makes, if you're wanting to do compressed um, cobblestone for different things where you want to hammer them or you want to you know, sieve and such, it's just a great way of getting a large amount of that material without you having to sit there and constantly feed it or do any work. Okay. All right. Well, that's all for today's build. Pretty quick one. Um, if you have any questions about this or um, have any other suggestions, uh, please feel free to throw them down in the comments. If you like this video, found it useful, please be sure to click like. And then again, also be sure to subscribe. Click the little bell symbol. Um, that way you'll see all of my content as it comes out for further tutorials. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate you checking in today. If you need anything else, let me know. Have a good day.